Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are taking on Stage 4 of the God of Destruction event with the Ginyu Force. Um, so we are taking on Quetella, who is a tech-type unit, so we're going to focus on int-type here. So once again, my rule is, is I'm sticking with the four core Ginyu Force members, so we got the AGL Leader, we got Jace and Birder, Raccoon and Galdo, and the Physical Ginyu, and then I'm going to give uh, Int Ginyu a shot here, because he's got type advantage, he does get an extra buff if you're facing only one enemy, he doesn't get damage reduction, he only gets that on Super Battle Road or multiple enemies, and then we're going to give our boy uh, Krillin and Vegeta a shot here, because they have a high chance to dodge, and we're just going to try to ride the dodge chance, so let's go ahead and hop in and see how this run is working for us here, and we will see, um, I do remember, I think this one did trip me up a little bit, back when it originally dropped we'll see how it goes this time though i think my team before was like a super saiyan 4 gogeta team uh with like a tech khalifa to dodge out we'll see what i can do in this team okay so i don't know do i put krillin and vegeta in slot one i don't think that would be wise uh physical ginyu is gonna have a little bit more defense slot one so let's do that and then I think I just have, to, I literally have to waste this turn. Look, he's attacking 500 times, and I haven't had any chance to build up. And AGL Ginyu's got type disadvantage. Um, yeah, we've got a waste. Like, this one is actually going to be really tough, because AGL Ginyu has type disadvantage here. Uh, that is for sure. This is going to be a tough one. Um, we'll see if I can sneak through, though. All right. Let's see what Krill and Vegeta can do. They're literally not going to link at all. I literally have them here to dodge, <laughs> and that's about it. Um, once again, okay, so we're taking the super right away. This is with Whis, so let's see what damage we take here. Yeah, 200k with a Whis. This is going to be a tough one, guys. If we can't get him taken all quick, we might be stumbling here. Because the AGL Ginyu, he's going to take a lot. Like, he's got to stack a lot to be able to tank that with type disadvantage. So this might be a run where I don't even transform into Goku Ginyu. It looks like Quetella though, is a little bit less tanky so hopefully we can get him out of here quick we're probably gonna ride these two turns of Whis, and we're probably gonna have to just back to back Whis, and then we just cross our fingers the rest of the way through um that's probably what we're gonna have to do here yeah we did get a dodge there okay so raccoon and Galdo, that's a very easy slot one um we're gonna do this and actually do i actually put no so we're gonna leave agl ginyu on rotation because we need to stack his defense like asap um I would love to grab those two phys those two STR orbs there, but they won't let me. That's really unfortunate. All right, so let's do that. AGL Ginyu here has nothing to grab, so let's do this. Try to drop some int orbs so we can get a little bit of healing here. All right, let's see what happens here. Well, I forgot to check. I kind of wanted to check Int Ginyu's defense, but he's not linking here, which is unfortunate. But we kind of had to do this setup. Raccoon and Galdo, like... The consistent with all of these runs are that Raccoon and Goldo are gods. They are literal gods. Um, if I could have my whole rotation be Raccoon and Goldo, like, I don't think we could be beaten. I mean, we'd have to have a Ginyu somewhere. So if we could do every rotation was Raccoon and Goldo and then some Ginyu, then yeah, we'd probably be good here. Okay. Raccoon and Goldo getting built up nice. Oh, this is going to do like nothing. Nothing. I mean, we've got Whis too, but even without Whis, that would have been like nothing there. I'm pretty sure. It does help with the 200% leader that we have so much HP. Because, like, last year when I did this, that shot we took for 224k, that would have been, like, over half my life. Now it was, like, not even half my life. So it wasn't too bad. When we've got, like, what, 557k HP here? Not too bad. Alright, so now... We are on a non wees turn. Um... This is kind of interesting because if I put AGL Ginyu here, Jason Birder might be okay because they're gonna they're gonna have a decent chance to dodge and they've got type advantage. Um, AGL Ginyu is actually stacked up a little bit. I think I'm gonna try this turn without an item. I'm gonna try it. Let's get some healing here. Hopefully, a decent amount. Okay, we got 380k. We can't get any... Oh, we can. Okay, good. Some more healing. All right, I'm going to try this turn. I am very much understanding we could die here, but I'm kind of curious to see how this turn's going to ride out. Um, if we can get a double or triple super here, Ginyu, I think, defensively, even with type disadvantage, might be okay. Give me, a tr give me another super. Okay, we got a double super here. So 
His defense has got to be looking much better right now. I think we're for sure tanking normals, but I don't know what a super is going to do here. Yep. Okay. This one, I'm still a little bit iffy. Like, their defense definitely isn't all that, but they have type advantage here. And I'm going to bank on them dodging if they get a super, hopefully. Okay, yes, the additionals are great because they do build up. So we want to build them up as much as we can here. Okay. Okay, dodge, sure. Okay, double-digit normals. That's a good sign. Just give me a bunch of dodging. Yep, we'll take it. We'll take all that dodging. Jason Bird are looking good there. All right, so we are good. So we could take the super here. Now, these guys have decent amount of defense, but they don't have type advantage. So it's going to sting if we get hit here. Okay, yep. Okay, okay, this is going to sting, but I I don't think it's going to kill us, is it? Ooh, 344. That was a stinger. Okay, but we might be able to transform here. We can. All right, so let's transform and get the heal. Um... Oh, geez, though. But look at the Ginyu Goku at only 189k. Like, this is a very tempting turn to no item. But Ginyu Goku is literally a sitting duck. So we have to... He's going to take damage from normals if we don't lease here. Because I'm actually okay with the Krillin Vegeta on the end there. there. There's only one attack. Oh, shoot. I meant to grab that with Krillin Vegeta. I was on the wrong one. All right, this will still work out, though. Okay. So, yeah, we had the Whis there. But we do have Quitella down enough that I think we're going to be okay. And I don't know... I don't think he's dodging here. This is definitely a dicey one, though, with the AGL Ginyu. Like, this is one I was definitely worried about coming in. But I think we're going to be okay. We just got to we just gotta burst this guy down within the next two turns. We need Ginyu here. I think Ginyu is effective against all types. Oh, he does dodge. Dang. Yeah, we're effective here. So, like, he, we would have done a lot of damage, but he dodged it. That is a pain. A lot of these gods do dodge. All right, Krill and Vegeta getting a hit in there. Okay. All right. So this turn here, how do we, well, I think we're actually going to float the AGL Ginyu, ironically enough. Um, 200k defense type advantage. I'm actually going to leave Int Ginyu in the front. And then we're going to do, I mean, Jason Birder could dodge a lot, but they have less defense. So let's try this. We're still on a Whis turn here. I don't think we got enough damage though. I really don't. I kind of want him to super here, though, because we're still on the Wii's turn. Because now I'm out of items. So now I'm just holding up my hands and just saying, all right, give me what you got. I mean, four mil for Int Ginyu is not bad. Look at that shot. Int Ginyu definitely gets overshadowed, right? Because you can run him on the team, but it's a lot harder because he shares the same name as the leader. Yeah, we took, like, nothing there. That was fine. And then two mil here. We definitely want some additionals here. We got to get this Quetella out of here fast now because now we're playing without items. So, yeah, give me all these additional supers. We'll take it. Okay. Oh, yeah, triple super. That's awesome because they're building up their passive too. So, 2.7 mil. Their defense looking a lot better now. Uh, we have a Wiesan, so they're definitely not taking damage. We already got supered, so we're good. AGL Ginyu, let's do some damage here. Yeah, 6 mil. I'm trying to remember. I think he's only effective when he's uh, Goku Ginyu. No, he is still effective. Nice. Oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, I want an additional super. All right, I think we're okay here. It just depends on... Okay, because Rakum and Galdo, they're, they're going to probably finish him. They're going to tank just fine here. The only risk I take here, AGL Ginyu is going to get us killed in the middle. Um, But unless Quetella dodges like twice, I think we're fine. The other thing here is we potentially have Scouter and it's not showing anything. So either we have Scouter and it's not showing anything, or we would miss Scouter and we could have a Super still. So we really don't know. But at least I feel better, I guess, knowing that there isn't a Super. But AGL Ginyu, as long as he doesn't dodge this, this should one-shot here. Because we are effective against all types. Okay, I think we're okay. And we've got additionals coming anyways if this doesn't finish. Oh, we weren't effective there. Oh, oh my, oh my gosh. Are you serious? <laughs> why weren't we effective does it is it only for like the first three turns I, I don't remember okay we still snuck out of there guys dude we could have gotten supered in one shot there because we were taking what 60k normals okay that ended up way dicier than i thought it was going to but we snuck out of there honestly guys the tech battle that's the one i was worried about the most we got it done first try so 
Uh, just goes to show you how good the Ginyu team is regardless. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Catch y'all in the next one.